In this video, we will show how to replace the boards in our replacement board kit for the following Vizio TV model number E550I B2. Before starting the replacement process, it is recommended to take photos along the way so that you have something to reference for seeing what the parts look like originally in the TV along with all the connections. Be sure your TV is unplugged. I will start by removing the back cover of the TV so that I can access the boards. I will start by replacing the power supply board. The first thing I will do is disconnect all of the cables from the board. Next, I will remove the screws that hold the board to the TV panel. The power supply board is connected to the LED driver, so you will need to gently pull the power supply board from the LED driver board at the connection. Then I will take my replacement board, line it up correctly, and then screw it to the panel to secure it tightly. Since the power supply and LED driver board are connected, you may need to loosen a screw on the LED driver board and lift the board gently to reconnect the power supply. Then I can reconnect all of the cables. The next board I am going to replace is the main board. Once again, I will disconnect all of the cables and then remove the board from the panel by unscrewing it. Then attach your replacement board to the panel with the screws and reconnect all of the cables. Next I will replace the TCON board. Once again I will start by disconnecting the cables and then remove the board from the panel by removing the screws. When disconnecting these ribbon cables, gently use your finger to flip up the tab and then pull out the ribbon. Next I can remove the board and then get my replacement board into place and reattach it with the screws. Now
Next, I can reconnect all of the cables to the board. Next, I will replace the LED driver board. Once again, I will start by disconnecting the cables and then remove the board from the panel by removing the screws. The power supply board is connected to the LED driver, so you will need to gently pull the LED board from the power supply board at the connection. Since the power supply and LED driver board are connected, you may need to lift the power supply board gently to reconnect the LED driver. Next, I can reconnect all of the cables to the board.